you may be asking yourself, how should running sunglasses fit? And you are in the right place and we're giving you all the details. So stick around. Hello and welcome on My Glass, Tyler. Today we're going to be covering how to get a perfectly fitting pair of running sunglasses. We're gonna break down each component of the frame and we'll play a little Goldilocks so you know what's too tight, too loose, and just right. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We'll also point out helpful frame features so you know what to look for on your pair. If at the end of this you are ready to order, do not forget about SportRx and definitely don't forget about our See Better guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or even just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You just reach out to us. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, by the way, we have opticians who are very friendly, very knowledgeable, and would love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us. All right, let's get into this. All right, let's start at the temples. Obviously, you don't want to get something that's too tight. It'll squeeze your head and it will give you headaches. Then of course you don't want to get something that's too loose because then they're going to slip or you need to adjust them or constantly be fussing with them. You want to obviously get something that is comfortable and has grip and stays in place. I think the best thing that you can say for a proper pair of sunglasses, especially for any sport use, any activity, is that you can put them on and forget about them. And then you don't have to fuss with them, you don't have to think about them, they are working for you. The first tip is if you put them on and they feel too tight, as soon as you put them on, they're probably too small. If they're uncomfortable right away, they won't make it in the long run. Number two, look down. Do they slip? Do they slide down your nose? If so, they're a little bit too big or there's not enough grip on the frames. So a feature to look out for is that rubber or grippy material, both on the nose and ideally on the temple as well. When it comes to lenses, you want to avoid a lens that is oversized because it risks then touching your cheeks. That will be something else that you have to think about while you're running and should be focusing on your run. It is uncomfortable and it can also create fogging because there's less area for circulation to make it through and then you're going to be heating up while you're running and so they will fog up. Don't get something that's too small on the same end of that spectrum because then you're not going to have enough coverage, especially in the peripheral. Do get something that wraps, gives you more contour. There are lots of lens designs that actually will curve up and over cheekbones. If you have a higher cheekbone, of course, your bridge fit matters as well, but that lens shape really can make a big difference. It'll give you all the coverage you need and ventilation. A tip here is to keep your personal facial features in mind. Brands have different lens shapes and there are different designs for different face features. So some examples of these lens shapes would be the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. Also, there is a Radar EV Path. They are lenses that are going to curve up and over what usually will take care of higher cheekbones, more pronounced cheekbones, but for really pronounced cheekbones, they actually have the flat comes in a non XL version, which will make it a little bit shallower and a little bit more flat. And so there's even less chance of it hitting a more pronounced cheekbone. This is just a couple examples. There are lots of different options out there. Now, when we talk nose pads, nose bridge, you want to make sure that the frame is sitting properly on your bridge. Obviously not too high, not too low, especially important if you are wearing prescription. So you want to get nose pads that have rubber grip. They will stay in place with each stride and also help to absorb some of that shock. No more frame bounce. Also, definitely consider adjustable nose pads. They can be really tough to find. It is not every frame by any means that has an adjustable nose pad. I'm thinking specifically about Rudy Project. They're really good at making adjustable nose pads and that makes the nose pad just one less piece that you have to worry about because you can get that perfect fit on them. Some other helpful info, definitely verify the frame sizing options. If you're ordering online, a lot of these things seem like they're just obvious or whatever. And of course, if you're in a store and you put glasses on, they slide down your face, you know it's too big. But if you're ordering online, you don't always know what you're looking at and you don't know how it's gonna fit you unless you try them on. There are some things that we can help with there. Stick around just a moment, but there are other indicators of what frames are going to fit like. 
uh, Nike in particular, they have their Maverick lineup. They have their classic Maverick, and then they have the Maverick Small. Most people have an idea of when they put glasses on, they're used to most of them fitting a little large or used to most of them fitting a little small. If that is the case, then you know whether or not you tend to need a larger or smaller frame, and that can be a good indicator. Another one would be Rudy Project Ride-On versus Rudy Project Ride-On Slim. Obviously, just the name lets you know a little bit of what to expect, but it's not going to give you the whole picture. If you're trying to look at your existing eyewear as an indicator of what size you should get, be mindful that a more wrapped sunglass is going to look differently from a, a flatter, more lifestyle sunglass. If you're looking at the numbers on the frame, really and truly, the numbers on the frame actually are not giving you a good indication of how they fit. That's not even what they're for. The number of the measurements on the frame are really more from a manufacturing standpoint and to help with the manufacturing side of things. And it just has kind of gotten into the optical world as, well, that's the size I need. But the thing that actually will help would be Sporter X and our size guides. On all of the frame reviews that we do, we make sure that we put a size guide in there, or have some reference to size, but we also have a unique measurement that's called the SFW, which stands for Sporter X Frame Width, because that SFW will actually give you a more practical understanding of how the frame will fit on you. It gives you more of an, a concept of the effective fit rather than just the measurements. And so that is something you should check out as well. If you want more information on how we do the SFW, we do have a video on that you can check out. Also, it needs to be said that we have opticians here at Sporter X who are very trained, very knowledgeable, especially helping people remotely. They are a really good resource if you're still a little worried about sizing or fit because they can definitely give you a lot more guidance for your particular needs and your particular expectations. So definitely check us out. And that is everything you need to know about being well equipped for finding the next pair of perfectly fitting running sunglasses. If you keep all of these things in mind, we guarantee your running sunglasses will be comfortable during your run and stay in place. Again, if you feel like missed anything, leave the comment in the comment section below because we'd love to hear from you and we'll get back to you. And again, do not forget about that See Better guarantee. I think it really gives you a ton of peace of mind and for even more peace of mind, these opticians, these guys, we would love to help you. So do not hesitate to reach out to us and use us as a resource. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information and exactly what you were looking for. If so, throw us a like because it helps us. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. And I think you should check us out there too because I think you'd like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. Check us out at SportRx.